What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Goblin, and today I'm coming in with part two of my ban from Walmart story, so drop a like on this video if you guys do enjoy, and also, I'd like to mention real quick that I apologize for not uploading on my second channel the past couple days, I've been super duper busy, so I've just been really focusing on getting content out on this channel, but uploads will resume on my second channel pretty soon, probably within the next day or two tops, so hope you guys do enjoy this video and the content that will be coming pretty soon on my second channel, drop a like if you guys enjoy, and let's dive into it. So. Banned from Walmart Part 2. Now, where we left off last time, I'm going to link Part 1 in the description below if you guys haven't seen it. But basically, we left off as, you know, right as I got into the security room when I got caught. So, we're going to resume from there. So, you know, my ass just got into the security room. Swole ass short dude escorted me in with the fucking angry dyke. And I was sitting there pretty concerned because they opened up the little tin that I'd stolen and inside the tin I had a fuck ton of PS4 games. I had like 20 PS4 games. So, they opened it. And they were like, oh my god, because I don't really think they realized at the time, like, how much I had actually taken. I think they just, like, caught me on the cameras towards, like, the end, because they seemed, like, pretty surprised by what was in there. So I don't think they were watching me, like, the whole time, but they told me that they were following me on the cameras, and they had, like, the times and everything pulled up, and they even showed it to me when I was sitting there. I was like, you know, I was sitting there, and I was, like, kind of curious. I was like, how did you guys catch me? And they showed me. They were like, we noticed you, like, right at this point, and they gave me, like, a time and everything, and they showed me on the cameras, and I was like, damn, they got some real cameras up in this bitch, but, you know, if I was allowed back in, it could have been some future intel. I could have known all the little the little corners that the cameras can't get you but you know unfortunately i i'm never allowed to go back to walmart again or sam's club because apparently sam's club is like connected to walmart i don't know i guess they like work together they're owned by the same parent company but either way i'm banned from both for life so you know i was sitting there and i was like still kind of wondering what was going to happen because they hadn't really told me yet so then the one dude busts out his cell phone and he calls the cops and i'm like okay fuck just fuck my life, and, you know, at this point, I knew I was pretty confident I was getting arrested, I didn't know if I was, there was no way I was gonna get a citation for this, or, like, a ticket, because it wasn't, like, a small amount, I, this was, like, a felony amount of things that I had taken, well over the threshold of, I, I think it's $300 in Illinois, that might be a nationwide thing, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure here, the requirement to be a felony theft is at least, you know, $300 worth of merchandise or more, for it to be upgraded from a misdemeanor to a felony, so, you know, my, you know, I was sitting there and my mom, I, they made me call her because I had to have her come up there since I was under 18. So I called my mom. She showed up about at the same time as the cops and a shit ton of police officers showed up. Like four different squad cars like pulled up to this Walmart and like three cops walked in. One was waiting outside and I was just sitting there in the room. My mom showed up all disappointed and shit. I barely even got to see her because I was just sitting in the security room answering questions. Then the cops came in and they asked me basically the same questions that the security people at Walmart did. They were like, oh, you know, why'd you do it? And all sorts of shit like that. And then the like security people were showing the cops like where on the camera and when they noticed me and all that. So they showed them the same thing they showed me me. cops are like oh damn you know you took quite a bit of stuff here and they're asking me why I took it and I was like oh well you know I'm getting a PS4 pretty soon and uh, I just wanted to get some games you know just wanted to play some stuff pretty soon so they were all like oh okay and they were like the cops were cooler about it than the security guys were the security guys were fucking dickheads but the cops were pretty cool they were pretty laid back so you know eventually they just kind of like finalized everything told them like what they were doing and like where they caught me and exactly how much I had taken, you know, luckily I didn't leave the store with it, so I didn't really have to pay anything to get it back, you know, when I got arrested for it, I just had to not take anything out of the store, which I didn't do, because everything was still wrapped, like I didn't open anything or like damage any merchandise, so... You know, the cops took me, and they put me in the back of this one dude's, like, SUV. I wasn't in, like, a normal little squad car. And, you know, I was riding for what seemed like forever, because they had me handcuffed in that bitch, and they did my handcuffs pretty tight, I'll tell you that much. But the dude who was driving me was pretty cool. We had a nice little conversation. I asked him, you know, what what's the plan? What are you guys going to do with me here? Are you just going to hold me and release me, or are you going to send me to jail for the weekend? Like, what's happening? And I got down to the station, and they took my prints and everything. They, like, at first they took me in, and they patted me down again and made me take down take off excuse me basically like all of my clothes except for like necessities like shorts and like a t-shirt I had a hoodie on they made me take that off and you know they let me keep my glasses on which was surprising to me because the time before that I'd been arrested they didn't let me keep the glasses because they said that it could be used as a weapon so I was like whatever okay so they did that and they took me into a holding cell and this was the worst part this was the most boring part they couldn't figure out what to do with me so they had me in the holding cell for fucking ever i'm talking like 
eight hours they had me in this holding cell until I finally got released because originally what they were trying to do because I kept like knocking on my door and like asking every couple hours like hey what the hell is the plan is someone coming to get me or am I being like transferred to a juvenile center like what the fuck is happening and the cop was like I don't really know yet and originally they were trying to send me to like Kane County Juvenile or some shit like that which didn't really make sense to me because I don't even live in Kane County nor did the crime occur in Kane County so I don't really know why they were trying to do that but I guess that's just what they were aiming for anyways and if you guys don't know what state they live in Kane County Illinois you know I, I don't live in that county but I live near that so that's as far as I'm gonna go but anyways they had me in there and I guess they were trying to like Send, they were trying to transfer me to the juvenile center until my court date that upcoming Monday because this happened on a Friday. But since my grandma lived in the same county that I committed the crime, they were able to negotiate some sort of like plea deal where they released me to her, but it put me on house arrest for the weekend until my court date on Monday. But God forbid they do that quickly. It, I was in there. I was in holding for a good seven to eight hours, just sitting there doing nothing. And the dude came and checked on me like once. He was like, hey, you good? You need to go to the bathroom. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm good. I don't need to go to the bathroom. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. Like, am I getting locked up? Like, what's happening? And they had me come and speak to some woman. I don't remember what position they said she was. She was some like probation officer or something but she wasn't like assigned like she wasn't like my po but she was some lady that worked with like the juvenile center that i had to like she on the phone like they had me sit down and get on the phone with her and i had to agree to a bunch of terms in order to be released because i don't remember the term for it but they gave me some some agreement where they'd release me for the weekend until my court date so i could like figure out the plan and like get a lawyer and all that until like my court date a couple days later instead of just sending me to the juvenile center because that would have ended poorly because since they released me I was able to get a lawyer and fight the case and all that which was pretty nice but you know I, I sat down on the phone this lady like fucking interrogated me asked me a bunch of questions said if you don't agree to these terms you will immediately be arrested and transferred to Kane County Juvenile or whatever I was like okay yada yada yes I agree whatever whatever and finally after what seemed like fucking years goddamn fucking decades in that bitch they finally released me to my parents who had to drive me straight to my grandma's house I was not allowed to leave the house all weekend let alone leave the county and I will get to what happened next because it's not over yet it got pretty interesting i did end up leaving the house maybe bend in a few rules but anyways hope you guys did enjoy this video drop a like if you guys did enjoy and i will see you guys next time peace